in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I'm Ron Futrell with Liberty.com. Kevin Jackson joining us now, one of the entertainers on the tour. No, you've been you've been a lot of fun up there to watch some of the the, the stuff that you do. You've got um, no entertaining and funny. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, some of the stuff that you do is quite hilarious up there. I, the crowd responds to your stuff, don't they? When they you do seem it. to get it. I mean, I you think they're trying? I guess the hearing aids are turning. No, I'm kidding. No, I, I look. We, My we, hearing aid. Right. What'd you say? <laughs> right. Well, hold on. Ah, I didn't hey. catch you. Oh, okay. No, seriously. You know, a lot of we we all are are pissed, and and everybody's talking about the issues. And I think it's always good for somebody to come in and add a little bit of a comedic spin to stuff so I'm not trying to be the comedian because it's, it's all very serious but at the end of the day I think people should have a few laughs so. well that is a way to get the point across though that's at the same time too well that's a li the liberals are doing it I mean they've beaten us on all the the fronts and, and why can't I be the next Dave Chappelle dang it I mean <laughs> Dave's not doing it he retired a clean Dave uh, Dave Chappelle I've, <laughs> I've seen his show in Las Vegas and his yes um, okay, a clean you're the clean version hey the shirt I like the shirt here what do you got there well, that's my mob shirt. When they were calling us mobsters, you know, I decided, you know, well, the, why, why run from it? You know, if we're going to be mobsters, let's let's mob the government. So that's what we're doing. November 2nd, we're going to mob them. November 3rd, I'm going to take over. I'm going to need a conciliary. A con I'm, I'm in. Consigli uh, con something or other. Consigli yeah. Well, you're a white dude. You, I know you can handle it. A conspirator in crime. How's that? Yeah. So we're all going to be celebrating on November the 3rd, and we're going to work on repeal of health care on November the 3rd. We're going to talk about cap and tax, get, making sure that thing never happens. I'm going to free all the white folks. You know my saying, Emancipation too. this time even the white folks get free. So you're going to be the first guy come and rescue me. Shelby Steele said he's going to, uh, white guilt was one of the issues, certainly, that he talked about, that he could free everybody of white guilt. So you'll be able to do that as well right yeah. and then I'm um, af after November the 3rd I will start talking like Jesse Jackson completely I'm not even gonna use this voice I'm just gonna be Jesse Jackson uh, hello how are you <laughs> uh, I'm glad to be here out here with the tea party talking to all the white folks now I oh we can no longer say white folks. It's just folks, just folks. <laughs> right just folks. so yeah we're, we're November 3rd it's a new day 2012 it'll be a new day again and we're gonna keep having these renaissances over the next couple of years as we slowly boot these guys out make room for the good guys so I'm excited glad liberty.com's a part of it glad Tea Party HD is a part of it I'm glad I'm a small part of it and hope that you know a lot of folks have a bigger voice in this thing as it goes along one of the things that happened I know you've you've had things like this happen I had this guy in a Navy shirt just came up you won't be able to see this but a little American flag oh, tucked true. away in here just hand that to me and say hey you guys need that Thank you for your efforts. Um, you know, and, and things like that happen when you're on the tour where honest, good, hardworking Americans do this sort of stuff. Right, right. A lady gave me a pin. She says, uh, you know, because I have a Navy, couple of Navy SEALs, got, Navy SEALs that I train in mar mixed martial arts. And she's like, are they here? And I go, well, one of them is here. Not that one of the guys that I train, but one of the guys on my staff. And she goes, will you give him this? And it was a military pendant, like a thank you pendant. And it's just, man, you just get, you know, don't, I mean, you just feel like you gooey inside. I don't even know the word for it. Good gooey inside yeah, is a good gooey. is a good way to describe right. it. Because you know you you get you get that these people really get it and they love the country and it's not this you know the maim that the left is talking about we're all out there hating somebody because they're black or it was just ridiculous stuff. So I love seeing it. I mean look I'm a black guy here, no issues, you know what I mean? I'm not flashing game. You, you're, you're, I am I am black. I, I didn't I didn't want to have to say it. I mean, because I know it's too difficult to tell just to look at me, but yeah, I am 90% black, 10% other, yeah. Whatever the other is.